and Fat Joe were riding in the back of an industrial strength delivery van. I couldn't catch a clear view of the driver's face, but I could tell it was an effeminate friend. The ground plans for battle were all laid. We were just taking some time to kick it, eat grapes, and parlay. It was just him and me. In a van with the gated gate, we taste the grapes and spit the seeds in the street. The highway was a scalpel splice in the sands. Impressive impression, a man's demand for the connection of lands. I look back at Joe and laugh. I give the grapes a puff and a pass, spitting another seed out of the back. Joe squints his eyes, lets out a sound that could only be described as a laughter and a sigh. Combine his pale olive fingers, pry another one of the fruits off the vine. We should return here in ten years' time, I ask him why. So we can drink the wine from the orchard that is grown from the seeds we alone cast aside. As the sun sunk lower on the sand, dust sprayed from the tires, the wind picked up the grains, displayed them in spirals, and I held the last grape up to eclipse the sun. The breeze plucked it from my fingers, and the lunch was done. Father was an engine driver. Sat inside a donut shop sharing a dozen and watching a coffee cool. One by one, the box slowly emptied. From the cakes to the crullers and at last the fancies. Pox sidled out so I could hear him. Donuts are communism. I asked him why. He said, better in theory. He laughed and scratched asleep from her eyes. He said, this is ridiculous. Twelve is too much. Half a dozen wastes our time. But every time we order twelve, thinking we can handle it. And every time we end up pissed because we made our stomach sick. We both laugh a bit and gingerly sip our coffee. His fingers scrape the tabletop and he digs in softly. And I watch him there, carving, scraping, both sitting in silence as he engraves his name with the word West Side beside him. Underneath the orange veneer of the donut shop gear, there's an earthy brown flesh that excavation makes appear. And year after year, Pac and I return there to the table that he claimed with the matching bench chairs. Chug the last of our coffee and stand to leave. Wave to the clerk, she says goodbye in Chinese. Clutching our sick stomachs, we both struggle to speak. Shake our hands, split our ways, and say, See you next week. Father was an engine driver. Grandpa fought the war. Hope that I can maybe size up. fought the war hope that i can maybe size up leave my mark at all my father was an engine driver grandpa fought the war hope that i can maybe size up you can sing along father was an engine driver grandpa fought the war